Nobel Prize jury praised Hertha Müller for the concentration of poetry and the frankness of prose with which she depicts the landscape of the dispossessed. Hertha Müller doesn't like being made a fuss of. She's happy to sign books, but that's about it. I won't sign photographs, she says. That's what actors do. She insists she's not a celebrity, but a very private person. If you saw her on the street, you might think she looked a little unfriendly. Obviously, it has to do with me, but it's my work that has won the prize. She's visibly tense as she comes through the doors at the Swedish Academy in Stockholm. As she steps up to the lectern, Hertha Müller is following in the footsteps of previous Nobel Prize winners Günter Grass and Thomas Mann. Before she emigrated to Germany, Hertha Müller was harassed and threatened by the Romanian secret police, the Securitate. I talked a lot during the dictatorship, and usually my talking had unbearable consequences. Living in Nicolae Ceausescu's Romania, Hata Müller grew up with lies. While she was working as a translator in a tractor factory, the Securitate tried to recruit her as an informer. In 1987, she left Romania and moved to West Berlin. Her experiences in Romania's totalitarian regime stayed with her. Her own father was a member of the Waffen-SS, a fact that was never mentioned within the family. Much of her work today addresses present-day Romania. According to their own information, 40% of the old secret police have been subsumed into Romania's current secret police. I would guess the figure is even higher. So it would be wrong to talk about a new secret police. Hanta Müller looks as though she enjoys the book signing session. For years, writing was her only outlet. Now she's enjoying widespread recognition as a writer. As well as prize money of just over 1 million euros. What will I do with the money? I'm not saying. I won't be buying a yacht, don't worry. While in Stockholm to give a lecture and receive the prize, the writer sometimes looked uneasy being the center of attention, like at this reception at the German embassy. She rarely gives interviews and leads a rather reclusive life. So the constant attention here in Sweden seemed to be taking its toll. However, this may have been the most significant moment in Hatta Müller's career to date. Her journey from communist Romania to the blue carpet in Stockholm has been a long one. The prize was presented by the Swedish king. It's no coincidence that a former dissident from behind the Iron Curtain was chosen in 2009, 20 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, a political statement. The ceremony was followed by a banquet dinner and dance for 1,300 guests. Seated in pride of place at the table, Hatamilla looked as though she was finally able to relax. Once dinner was over, many toasts were made in honor of the Nobel Prize winner, Hatta Müller. <laughs>